So today I wanted to talk about my dream wardrobe. I have been super into fashion videos lately. I don't know why I haven't watched these people in the past because I've always been super into fashion and trends and like I've just, I love clothes. <laughs> so as of late, I have been super into a bunch of fashion YouTubers and it's really inspired me to make some fashion content. So hopefully you like it. But today I wanted to talk about building my dream wardrobe. A video that I've been watching a lot lately is buying my dream wardrobe, but I don't have like $2,000 to just drop on clothes. So I wanted to make kind of like a vision board of pieces that I know I really want in my closet. I I really want to build like a very um, high quality essentials. I really feel like my essentials are quite keyed in. I put some pieces that I think are like timelessly essential. The cheetah print faux fur jacket. To me, that's like a staple. That's actually the second one I have. <laughs> a jean jacket. Again, I have multiple jean jackets. Leather jacket, white button down, and a black tee, which I thrifted this one the other day. It's like an extra small, so it's really tight, and I, I love. I feel like sometimes when I go to style an outfit, I have the cool top, I have a cool pant, but I don't have the basics to complement them because that's kind of my style. It's like a very effortless, timeless look with a few funky pieces. Like I love to do something as simple as like a black tee, but then like really funky, hot pink flared corduroys. <laughs> so there's like this good balance in my style. And I think if I build that essential a little more, I have like the funky pieces. I know a lot of people like Pinterest. I am not like a huge Pinterest fan. It just always like makes me jealous. I don't know if you can relate, but when I go on Pinterest, I just get like ridiculously jealous and upset that I don't have all these clothes slash I can't afford all these clothes. So Pinterest has like never been my thing or also like everyone on Pinterest is stick thin and then I get like weird about my body so Pinterest for me isn't great but what I've done instead is I've used my iPad and I've used Procreate and I've just clicked clipped pieces that I knew I wanted and I just kind of made my own Pinterest board but in a collage that's kind of like all of the pieces that I'm like coveting that I like and I just want to put it all in one place that way if I'm out shopping I can pull this up I sent this to my phone and I can like look and be like does this fit my style board is this gonna fit one of these things because when I go shopping now I need to reference this no more funky tops <laughs> until we fulfilled the basic essential so I just wanted to kind of go over it and talk about it and this would be my dream wardrobe I think sometimes when you have too many like funky outfits It's really hard to pack because this top only goes with two other pants or like these pants could only work with this shirt So then really hard to pack and I like to pack in a carry-on and the last time I traveled I felt like my outfits were just boring I know that basics can sometimes seem boring, but I don't I don't know I, I look at this stuff and I don't see it as boring I just see it as very put together. The last time I packed my basics that I have now and I thought I look boring. <laughs> so this is kind of my version of like elevated basics. So the first thing I wanna talk about are these Everlane way high drape pants. I think I'm gonna order them after this video because I've been lusting over these for like three to four weeks now and I know they're extremely popular and I'm afraid they're gonna sell out and sometimes with Everlane like once they sell out they do not come back I think this might be a staple on their website though just because of how popular they are but I think I am gonna order them well they come in four colors but these are the two colors that I am mostly drawn towards and I think I'm gonna go with this more like muted taupey brown because the, the more tan color, whenever I buy stuff in that color, like cardigans, jackets, blazers, I don't really wear it. The only thing that I like in that color is a good like long pea coat or a trench coat and that's about it. So I don't think I would wear them in that tan color as much. I just wanted to throw them up there as just kind of like an option. But I, after seeing my whole board put together, I think I want that more ashy brown color. These are just so beautiful. They look like they'd be like really like lightweight. I am not a huge fan of shorts. Uh, I live in Hawaii and I wear pants every day. Like I wear jeans when it's 90 degrees outside. It doesn't really bother me. I am very fair. So I have to kind of be aware of a covering from the sun and my thighs rub together. So shorts are uncomfortable. Like shorts are just, they're just not comfy. I've never really loved them. I do like to have a pair or two, but that's about, I'm not 
yeah during the summer I'm mostly wearing pants so these look really nice because they are flowy it feels like you could breathe in them I love that they're high-waisted I love that draped like it's just so like casual cool I see this with like like a black crop top or even like a black shirt like this tucked in with like a baseball cap like Air Forces and a cool like chunky bag I feel like that's just like such an easy fit that is effortlessly chic you know I love that like am I going to a business meeting or am I just fucking cool you you know like that's the style that I enjoy <laughs> so these are like number one top of my list for pieces I want to buy <laughs> then the other thing that's really high on my list is a pair of sandals I have this pair of like cream leather sandals that I've worn to death they're almost two years old and I wear them every single day that's the thing about living in Hawaii is that you're wearing your summer pieces more often so like before a pair of sandals could last me like probably five years honestly <laughs> whereas now they get pretty gross pretty fast so I'm looking for a cute pair of sandals I really like this black pair by Madewell the reviews are really really nice I think they're $98 but they are real leather and the reviews said that they're pretty much as comfortable as Birkenstocks they just kind of have a more elevated look which is what I want I love my Birks I the ones I wear often that I think are very stylish are these I think they're the Arizonas but the Arizonas are the two strap I like the three strap I just I like that look um so I think those are super stylish but these other pair that I have like they are not cute they do not look good with outfits they just kind of make everything look a little frumpy and so I'm not a huge fan of those and I'm trying to find a black or a tan sandal that you just kind of forget about like I just want it to blend out of the outfit I don't want it to be a statement it has to be comfortable I get a lot of like weird nerve pain in my feet when I'm walking long, so typically if I'm on vacation, I'm wearing my Air Forces. My Air Force Ones are the most comfortable walking shoe. It's very impressive, but I do want a sandal because not every outfit looks good with chunky Air Forces, you know? Like I want a little delicate sandal for like a dinner or just a cute like, little ice cream moment, <laughs> you know? And speaking of like delicate going out sandals, these two from Madewell, I really like too. I like the tan and the black. I'm leaning more towards this tan color because I think on me it's like a true nude and I think that would just look so cute with like a little dress like a little slip dress uh, I have this like a little white dress that I like just a little little tiny baby heel I don't want anything whenever I look for sandals they're like four inch heels I'm like at ah, one inch maximum I like that little lift I think it elongates your legs even if it's a little lift but I need to be able to walk in them and I'm already like a fairly tall person. I got 5'7". I feel like that's average slash tall. So I don't want like that much height added to me. This bag, I want to talk about this bag. I already ordered it. I'm obsessed. I got this on the Coach Outlet and it has different types of leather. So it's got that darker leather flap at the top and then more of like that taupey ash brown at the bottom and then whites on the side but the back is that ash brown which is what I was looking for because white leather can sometimes like that's a, like a longer shoulder bag so if it rubs against my jeans that white leather was going to turn blue so I like that the back is um a different color it's actually pretty similar to my bag that is like my daily bag right now I love as you can tell a color blocked leather I think this bag is so chic I'm so glad I bought it it's the perfect size I like that it's a shoulder bag let me just show you <laughs> I like that it's like a shoulder bag but it hits at a good spot it's not too long but then it's also not too short to where I can also wear it as a crossbody I like having the crossbody and shoulder bag aspect I don't like wearing crossbodies when they're like a really thin strap and they go all the way down to like the mid thigh I think that looks tacky sorry <laughs> so I do like that it's got this thicker strap it just hits at a really nice I love to put my hand on my bag that's like my go-to like I never know what to do with my hands when I'm like talking to people and so my go-to is always like kind of resting on my bag so yeah it's freaking love this bag I love it so much <laughs> But as you can see, this coach bag is pretty much its big sister. I'm so excited. It should get here today. So that was my like early birthday present to myself. I think it's just super cool. And I guess while we're on like the topic of bags, I'll just go through the rest of the bags that I have on here. Um, this bag is the Anina Bing Colette bag. I love Anina Bing. Actually, this black tee is <laughs> an Anina Bing tee, which I actually found at Nordstrom Rack for 50 bucks, which I know $50 for a t-shirt, but these are usually 100, so it's like a good deal. <laughs> good deal this bag is stunning I love it so much it kind of reminds me of that Michael Kors bag with the shoulder I think it would be a good like 
shoulder height. I don't think I could put it crossbody, but I don't really have any true shoulder bags. And this one's beautiful. I love the white. Like I said, I have been looking for a white. I was just scared that it would rub and turn blue, but this looks like it wouldn't hit the pants. So I would just have to wear it with light colored tops, which I kind of think is the vibe anyway. I love the gold hardware. I love to mix metals. Like I mix metals every day. I always wear this one, which is like a silver. This is, um, I got it at a flea market and then of course my wedding and engagement ring are silver. The only thing they have to do right is mixing the types of golds because sometimes different types of golds can be more brassy or more yellow or more bright. So as long as like the tone of gold is the same, it looks great. Don't be scared to mix metals. But yeah, this bag is $500. <laughs> so I probably won't be getting it um, anytime soon, but it's just beautiful and I lust after it. I think it's so chic, so cute. I love the croc on it, the croc leather. Ugh, it's just a masterpiece. And then the last bag I have on here is the Everlane Transit fanny pack. So I have a fanny pack from Lulu. It's the belt bag. I got it before, but he raved about it. And it is like a fantastic bag. However, it's a little on the smaller side. This Everlane one is a little bigger so I could fit more like snacks. I have low blood sugar problems. So like that is why whenever I'm traveling, I'm like, okay, if we don't structure the day around when we're going to eat or who has snacks, I can't go because I'll literally pass out. So like even in my fashion, I'm like, but does it have room for snacks? Because if not, I can't, I can't travel with it. <laughs> so those are all of the bags that I think are really cool bags that I wouldn't get sick of and they really would have a lot of um, use in my wardrobe. Maybe I should just finish out the pants. I started with a pant, let's finish out the pants. These pants are both from Everlane. The only reason I have both of them on here is because I don't know which color I like more. I think I like this more like true blue because I've been looking at the Anina Bing Sonia jeans that are like a really structured denim and they're like blue denim, which I really like, but I don't think they would fit me right. I tried on an, a pair of Anina Bing shorts and Oh mama, the gap, because I have, I have a huge ass. <laughs> I got a big butt, okay, and, and, a, and a slim waist. So like, I always get that gap in jeans and the Everlane curvy 90s cheeky denim fits me like a dream. I have two pairs. I have the light wash and I just would love a pair of this blue wash because it is a more rigid denim and I think it would be a great dupe for those Sonia jeans that I know are just not gonna fit me. I have worn my Everlane the light wash pair probably like four times a week for over a year now, a year and a half, and they're still in fantastic condition. They're like those type of jeans where the more you wear them, the better they are because they like start to fit to your body. So yeah, that's on here because I don't have a dark wash pair of jeans. I feel like within the past like two, three years, I've kind of switched out of skinny jeans and I've gone to this more straight leg look. First of all, it's just more comfortable. I think it flatters my body type better. I am like such a traditional pear shape, like very small chest and then hourglass at just the bottom. So I think that straight leg, it kind of sucks in your waist and makes that the focal point, especially because these are high raised. And then it just kind of like evens out the bottom. I just, I really like that look. So I definitely want to pick up another pair of Everlane denim. And then I have these um, pair of flares from And Other Stories. I've never shopped there before, but I think they're becoming really popular in like the influencer space. They are a total knockoff. Hold on, I have it pulled up on my Safari. Yeah, these are a total knockoff of the Gerard Darrell Anna High Waisted Leg Jeans, which are $295. And these ones from other stories, I think are 80, 89 around there. So way better deal. I just, I love these. It's something about these pockets. It looks so like vintage and cool. I love a flare. I love a dramatic flare. I don't want like a little baby kick flare. Like give me a proper flare <laughs> or I don't want it. <laughs> and these are, mm, just gorgeous. I love the stitching at the bottom that makes that flare like distinct. I love that blue color. I think this would look so chic with like a baby ballet flat heel and like a white tee tucked in with a slouchy bag like and some like um some big chunky tortoise shell and like a slick back bun. I had actually found the designer ones first and I was like is this ridiculous to spend $300 on a pair of jeans? Yes 
of course, yes. <laughs> but I was like, no one else is making them. And then voila, I found a beautiful dupe. And then this pair of pants I actually ordered already. I had two like Abercrombie rewards and they were on clearance. So they ended up being 20 bucks for their like very famous. They are the Curve Love Ultra High Rise Ankle Straight Jeans. <laughs> And they're usually like 90 bucks, but I got them for 20. So high hopes because I do not have a pair of black denim. The only pair of black denim I have right now are a pair of skinny jeans from American Eagle that have a rip in the knee. These used to be like my holy grail. I wore these everywhere. I wore through like three pairs. Like these were my signature style from like 2017 to like 2019. All I wore, like quite literally the only pair of pants I wore. And I am not a fan of them anymore. I just don't like the skinny fit. It's just really constricting. It's too tight on like the stomach. Like I've gained some weight and it is just uncomfortable. So, and I really wanted to try these jeans from Abercrombie because everybody raves about them. I've never tried them before so fingers crossed like I hope they're good because I love that like dark denim that looks a little bit faded just like a tad like they looks a little rustic and that's what these are giving me. So I hope these work out because these would also be cute. I mean just the classic look of a black pair of denim with a tucked in white t-shirt and a leather jacket. Effortless. Timeless. You can never go wrong. I've never seen that look bad on someone. Anytime I see that I'm like ooh style stylish. And the last pair of pants are these linen pants from Gap. I also really want a pair of linen trousers. I just, I'm loving the trouser look. I think it looks so cool and these are nice and high-waisted. I have these that I'm wearing. These are like a nice linen and they tie. However, they kind of fit more mid-rise. These are super cute. I think they're just more like relaxed. These are my go-to like beach cover-up. Like I won't get rid of these. I think they're great. These are really good for like tossing a cute little chunky sweater, tucking it in and like running errands on a Sunday. But these Gap ones are a little bit more structured and I really like that more put together look. These are also sold out in like every size, which is such a bummer. And then I only have one pair of shorts on here, which are these free people like curve love. I'm going to link everything down below because this is all stuff that's available right now. Also sold out of my size. Um, my, our wedding elopement photographer, she told me about these because I had posted about the Anita Bing shorts being like awful <laughs> with the gap. And she said that she always has a hard time with that gap as well. And that I should try these from free people. So I'm really excited because these are kind of my vibe. I like that they're high waisted. They look like they have a good inseam because I don't want my ass to be like hanging out. Like I like a more conservative fit while also being kind of fun and edgy. Like I don't want them to go to my knees, but I don't want them to be like a pair, like a bikini, you know? <laughs> so these look like a really good option. I'm excited. I, I, again, I hope these come in my size because I would love to try them. The only other shoe I have on here is this pair of Reeboks, which I actually own. I just needed to like fill some space on the board, but I love these shoes. They are super cute. Sometimes the Air Forces are too high and a little too chunky. And these Reeboks, they're like the classic Club C, I think, but they're the off-white vintage color which I like too because I like that cream sometimes you want a crisp white like the Air Forces and sometimes you want a cream so these are super cute they're fairly comfortable they don't have a ton of support though I kind of want to get inserts for them and then I think they'd be like the perfect travel shoe because the Air Forces are so like they just mm. they are so nice on your foot and the Reeboks lack a little bit of structure I also got them on ASOS for $40 even though they're originally 80 I don't know what was happening but maybe check ASOS <laughs> I only have two tops on here uh like I said I guess I'm just lacking in the pants department I really have a lot of a lot of tops pants are just so hard to find and I I grew up like really hating jean shopping. I I love little side tangent. I love the body neutrality. Like that's something that I really vibe with because body positivity, I never really felt like resonated with me. I was like, mm, okay, yeah, like cool. But body neutrality, I love that. Just being super neutral. It's like my body isn't like good or bad. It like just is. But anyway, now that I um, don't hate myself, <laughs> I think of that I am a little bit more adventurous with clothes and I also enjoy shopping for pants. And I also know that if a pair of pants doesn't fit me, 
it's not my fault, <laughs> you know? Like, I don't have to, like, go punish myself and, like, lose weight so I can fit into a pair of pants. It's just, like, that pair of pants isn't meant for my style of body. So now that I know that, I feel like my shopping experience is just so much better. So stupid. Being a girl is so stupid. So I have this, like, ribbed cool tank top. I saw this on, um some influencer and I thought it was beautiful. It's from Aritzia. I'm really bad with Aritzia, I'm not gonna lie. I They had a grand opening in Honolulu of a store and I went and I was like, this is kind of shitty. Like this all feels like Ross clothing except for it's $120. What? <laughs> like I was so underwhelmed. I couldn't, I was so pumped because I was like, everybody talks about Aritzia. Everyone online is like, all my clothes are from Aritzia. So I was like, sweet, let me go. Let me go to Aritzia. What's the hype? And there is none. There's none. I don't like it. But I, <laughs> I did see this tank on a person and it looked like it was really, really good quality, like a thicker ribbed knit. And I like where the um, shoulders cut off. Like it's not a tank top, but it's not a sleeve. I like that like more muscle tank kind of cut. I think it's, it looks very flattering on me. I love like showcasing my shoulders. Um, shoulder workouts are like my favorite. So I feel like I have these sexy shoulders and I'm like, let me show them off. <laughs> I think this would be just a great staple. I think it would look good with any of the jeans on here, any of the trousers. It would look good with the pair of shorts. It would just look good with anything. And then kind of in that same essence is um, a black turtleneck. This isn't from any specific brand. I don't even know. I just pulled it off of Google Images. I don't have one in mind that I want yet. It's just kind of something I'm looking for because I live in Hawaii. I obviously don't need a turtleneck. However, within the next year, I will be moving to the East Coast. So I need some more warm weather stuff. And I did have a black turtleneck in high school that I wore all the freaking time, except it was like a cuddle dud. Do you know what those are? They're like, they're like supposed to be for like skiing and stuff, like stuff you wear underneath your clothes to keep you warm. And it had like the cuddle dud logo like on the, the wrist and so it it just I need a new one that one was it served me well but you know I'm a woman I need to invest in a nice black turtleneck something that's fitted like I'm thinking kind of like this material something that's super tight and fitted that I can tuck into pants that I can layer under sweaters under blazers I don't want it to be chunky knit I want it to be like a very tight form-fitting turtleneck I think that would be so chic, so cute. And then I just kind of have some randoms on here. Like I have this bra from Pepper. They specialize in small booby bras. My bra right now, it, it's like gaping, like that gap, unless I stand like this, then it's flat, but it's the worst bra ever. So I'm excited. I really want to try their bras. Also, my bras are like falling apart, which is so annoying. Have you guys tried their bras? Because I'd be really curious. I haven't really read any re reviews. Yeah, I just want a black bra and a tan bra. I'm like so over... I don't really buy like patterned bras. I don't really buy patterned underwear. Like I'm just over it. Like I'm so over it. all that like cutesy undergarment shit. I have like a red bra, like a red sexy lacy bra. And like, that's it. Like that's my fun party bra. <laughs> the rest of them function. I want function. I don't want little puppies and little like hearts. It also makes me feel so juvenile. I need to throw away half of my underwear too. Like it's so old. Like the Fenty, Savage. I always thought it was Savage, so I don't know. But that whole thing is like such a scam to me and it's just so stupid. I'm like, I don't think you need a new bra and undies every month. Unless you were like, like make like a sex worker, then that would make sense. But like the average person, where do you got? I own two bras and a strapless one and my fun bra. I own four bras. Getting 12 bras a year? F off. The last little things I have on here are some accessories. So I have this pair of Ray-Ban Wayfarers. I really want a pair of just like that classic like Taylor Swift red era you know what I mean it's funny because she was the same age during the red era that I am now and I feel like the red era style is kind of inspiring me as of late that classy not like totally tweed which I didn't even tweet tween twee is that what it is I never even knew that's what it was called that like this year is the first time I heard of that term but that's exactly how I dressed in high school but I'm being influenced by that a little bit but when Taylor Swift would just always wear like a white button down with a black pair of like trouser shorts, little pearls in a black pair of wayfarers. Stunning, stunning. That is like my fashion inspo right there. I really want a pair of these wayfarers. The only reason I haven't like splurged is because I'm really hard on my sunglasses. I whip off my hat and I forget that they're on or I bend over and they fall off. And this last thing I know is ridiculous. I'm aware. 
it's this Dolce Vita Longings watch and it's $1,200, but it's gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> I don't have a watch and I feel like I'm missing a watch. I'm over the Apple watch, okay? The only time I wear it is when I'm at work because I work at Target and I like to like listen to my podcast secretly and like <laughs> pause it on my watch. <laughs> and I like to like look at text notifications, whatever. But like, can we leave the Apple watch alone, ladies? Can we let it die, please? Please, unless you're like, you know, wearing it like athletically. Take off your Apple watches when you're a bridesmaid, please, for the love of God. You know how many wedding pictures I've seen and there's Apple watches slapped on everybody's wrist like an amusement park entrance band? I'm so over it. They really got a grip on us. Everybody's like, I gotta count my steps for Sarah's wedding. <laughs> but anyway, this watch is gorgeous and I would love to find a dupe or secondhand. I saw it on the real real for $500, which is still crazy, but it's like the one watch I would ever buy in my life, I feel, because it's so high quality and it's just really gorgeous and it's silver so it matches my band even though I like mix matching metals like a white gold silver is definitely where I lean towards so I would want the watch to be that color uh my camera died so I think all I was saying about that watch is it's beautiful expensive but beautiful <laughs> that's it for this video that is my like dream wardrobe these are all the things that I'm lusting over right now that's it for me I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it inspires you to kind of make your own collage uh you can use procreate you don't need an apple pencil to to make collages or I'm sure there's other free apps that you can make collages in but it's kind of more fun to do it directly from pictures you find um, other than Pinterest so this was a lot easier for me and I enjoyed it a lot more yeah I hope you enjoy this fashion content I'm gonna try to kind of dip my toes in a little bit more I think I always saw myself as fashionable growing up and then these past couple of years because I've been drawn to more timeless pieces I'm like I'm not fashionable or like I don't have enough money to like make content about fashion but that's just like bullshit <laughs> you don't need to be constantly buying clothes to be fashionable and honestly sometimes simplicity is more fashionable than overdoing it so yeah I don't know I need to be like I am fashionable I like fashion and not have this weird imposter syndrome around it so hopefully you'll be seeing more videos about fashion from me because I'm really leaning into it. That's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one.